Well, Ryan, for so much of that game, it looked as though your goal was going to settle it. How gutting is it not to have won that? Oh, it's like we lost the game. Feels like it, but the performance today was a lot better than what we've been over the last couple of weeks. We, just, we felt like we didn't really create enough chances, probably to say, oh, we dominate the game to go and win it, but we had to concede pretty much last kick of the game. It's, it's, it's horrible. As you say, from the start really, and certainly for the first hour, you are on the front foot, you were creating chances. How would you assess the performance overall? You must be quite pleased with it. As I say, it's a lot better than what we've been doing. We've, we haven't started well enough in the last couple of games and today we were straight straight at them. We got a corner in the first couple of minutes and whatever it was, it was just, we knew we had to start pretty, pretty much start our season today and, and it, was, it was a good, good starter and hopefully we can kick on now. Your goal came relatively early on in the match. Two goals and two home games for you. Is that something you've been working on, trying to get into those spaces from corners and things, or has it just happened that it's worked out like that? It's just happened. Obviously, I'm six foot four, six foot five. I, I, I reckon I can get at least eight goals a season. So for me to get two and two, it's a good start. But yeah, I just want to keep on scoring goals. But the main thing is now is getting a few clean sheets under the belt and picking up some results. Elliot Osborne was on the set players today and he put a real number of quality deliveries in. How good is that for someone like you to, to have quality like that deliveries into the box? It is perfect on it, it's the driven cross and it's just the right area, pretty much a free header from six yards out. So, and again, he's put some good free kicks in, good, some other good set pieces in as well. So it's something for us to attack and it's where goals come from. Most, most goals are scored from set play. So if we keep putting in the right area, we will score more goals. When a team's been on a difficult run like this, what does getting a goal like that, especially relatively early on, what does that do for the confidence in the team? It does, it settles you down as well, it gets the crowd get, the crowd get going and as you say, it's early, early goals, settles you down, we can play, we can, we can, we can c control the game and not have to chase the game after conceding early ourselves. So. It's, it's a lot easier going one up early on than conceding, obviously. Spoken to Liam Watson after the game, and he said that overall he's pleased with how well the team have defended. Obviously, results haven't been going well recently, but overall, how do you think you're you're developing as a defensive unit? If you look at the stats, I don't think we can see many many shots on target. It's just when they do shoot, they seem to score. So it's hopefully that luck will change, and they'll have a few shots, and they won't score. But it seems it seems to be working well. We've, we've got a lot of competition and all all uh, across the back four, across the team really. So I say it's it's good to have competition. You're up against Glenn Taylor, there, number nine for a lot of the game today. I know he's obviously scored the goal at the end, but overall that seemed to be a challenge that you relish. Is that the sort of battle you, that you do relish? Yeah, it's to like playing against bigger players and the little players. But yeah, I thought as I say, I thought me and Josh handled him well. He didn't really he didn't obviously score right at the end, which was disappointing but apart from that I, I, he didn't, couldn't say he did anything, else, anything in the game. And Dan Hanford was awarded the sponsors man of the match, he's come up with a number of good saves today, he's made a few fine saves in the season already, what's it like to have someone like that behind you? It's great when he, he come out, shout keepers, comes pick the ball up, relieves a lot of pressure and that's what you want in the keeper, he made a great save after that free kick today and I say over the season you only, you only get better. And just finally, FC United next week. How important is it that heads don't drop, that everyone everyone stays positive? Yeah, if, of course. If we can't we can't do that. We come in today, feel like we got beat, but the performance was a lot better. And any other day, we could have nicked that one 0 So we've just got to go into next week full of positive. positive. Lost one and four, which is which we're getting there. And hopefully, we'll go in and pick up three points. Well played today. Cheers.